Hi, I'm Rachel Bachman with the Wall Street Journal here in Sochi at the Extreme Park where all the snowboarding events are taking place. Today we had the men's snowboard slope style event, first ever event. Sage Kotzenberg from the United States won the first gold medal of these games. And what we learned from that competition today is that the judges are inclined to award creativity and uh, sort of marksmanship in, in addition to difficulty of jumps. This is something that people weren't really expecting. What we were anticipating was a lot of big jumps, what are called double corks and triple corks, which are double and triple flips with sideways rotations combined. And we saw some of those today, but they didn't win. Instead, one, uh, what won was a very stylized, um, difficult, but very creative run by Kotzenberg. Now, it's important to remember that these are the same judges who will judge the halfpipe competition. Looking forward to the halfpipe events. Here's some athletes to watch. Number one, of course, is Sean White. The two-time gold medalist is trying to become the first American man to win three consecutive golds at the Winter Olympics. He's got a great chance to do that. Another half piper to watch is Greg Bretz. This is his second Olympic Games and uh, he's riding very well. He's one of four Americans entering the half pipe competition. So this is kind of fun. In the half pipe, there's actually a brother and sister who are both competing. Ariel in the women's competition and Taylor Gold in the men's. So watch for both of them. They're kind of outside chances to win medals, but uh, they would be, either one of them if they won, they would be the first American with the last name Gold to win a gold medal. On the women's side, the American to watch is Kelly Clark. She's competing in her fourth Winter Games. She won the gold in Salt Lake City in 2002, and uh, she's riding great. And, and um, her biggest competition will come from Australian Tora Bright. She's the Sean White of snowboarding. She's the gold medalist from 2010 in Vancouver in the halfpipe, and she's competing in three snowboard events here, which is a pretty amazing feat. She's also the favorite to win the gold in the halfpipe this year. Watch for more Olympics coverage on WSJ.com.